everybody from a beautiful day in Skyrim. I'm at the Forgotten Windmill today and this is something that I found just when I was browsing the Nexus. Uh, this is Ellie only I'm afraid but whoa it's so gorgeous. So when you get here and it's quite the traipse up the mountain. I'll show you where we are it's right here. <laughs> um, there's Fort Amol you can see how I came. I came from the Atronach stone that was my route. And then when you get here, if you have a scout around outside, there's a blooming great big bear that jumped out at me. There he is, poor guy. Look at this, this is gorgeous. Got my washi on the line. Got some soap down there. Fishing. And a view to absolutely die for. Which is what happened to this bandit. <laughs> the house is locked with a master lock and his journal is quite the amusing read. Uh, well you can pause the video to read it but bottom line is that bear saw him off. Serve you right. And he has his own little campfire out here which you can activate and deactivate. How cool is that? That is just awesome. So you can cook a meal on a beautiful day like today. And then up to the actual home, I mean goodness only knows what a windmill is doing all the way up here. <laughs> I have no idea. What's it actually milling? But I don't care because it's just gorgeous. It's a little home for one. So sweet. Such a lovely position. And out here you've got activatable lanterns. Oh, I love me the clickies. Gorgeous view. Wood chopping block right there. And then this little terrace. A bit overgrown by that tree. And another lantern and somewhere you can just sit and gaze. I think I'm really going to have to disable those two trees. They're right in the way. Smashing though, eh? In it goes indoors. Now, there's no room for children in here and no room for followers either. It's just a little bolt hole for you. But look how charming it is. And there are, oh, hi. <laughs> there are a few rep and racks. Give you some room. And plaques. Loads of storage for this tiny place. A few things to take. Decoration is really nice. And as you can see, there's alchemy and enchanting in here. Plus your bed. Hmm. And obligatory bedtime reading. A couple of nice bits of artwork. Oh, who didn't want to live in a windmill? I don't know if you've ever seen the program Jonathan Creek. Um, it's kind of like a <laughs> an English detective, really. Um, but his house, oh my god, his windmill. Totally wanted to live in that. I think I am already enchanting enough, but a little more practice can't hurt. <laughs> He's adorable. So, bookshelves, loads of bookshelves. It's a nice little balcony up here. And here's the journal for the previous owner, who was getting on in years. He'd lost his wife. Quite sad, really. Had to take his her, his painting of her down because it hurt too much to look at her, which is just awful sad. I think there's a grave outside somewhere for her. I haven't found that yet. So, you know, the story is sweet. 
And then just up here, a bit of storage again. You can imagine the two of them sitting there on an evening playing chess and... Oh, it's what a shame. So, not a lot going on upstairs. Can't like that one. Shame. Don't like the cobwebs behind that bookcase either. They're <laughs> too much realism right there. And there is a basement here too. And this basement is referred to in the a dusty journal. So you've got a smithy down here. Nice. And then behind that, a few mannequins. They look like they're just standing there having a chat, don't they? And then, this is what he found. I love the little ring pull detail on the wall. So you have this tunnel coming down to a very soft, softly lit, beautifully lit, pool. This is Cryman's Lousy Lavender. I went pink this time. And his dodgy death bells. I went white, although they actually look a little kind of grey in this light. Beautiful though, aren't they? And this gorgeous pool. Dragonflies and fish and water lilies. What a great find. So, you know, bath come shower. Beautiful. So that covers just about all of the features that the home has. It's super cute. Oh, shame about the weather. Super cute and with everything I need. Perfect. So I'm going to leave you with that view. I'll call that the end of this wee video. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know what you think about it uh, in the comments and stay safe everybody. Bye for now.